I'm gonna tell you 10 different ways to get more subscribers in 2018 and beyond, and we're starting right now. That's just how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So I'm going to share with you the things that I used to grow my subscriber base by almost 100,000 subscribers in one year. And I'm going to share with you some things that have worked for clients that eh, there's a good chance that you've probably never heard before. But if you are a regular viewer, some of this is going to be a little bit repetitive, but some of it might be completely fresh for you and hopefully we'll turn on some light bulbs as far as thinking, oh, hey, I've never tried that before. This year, I'm gonna give that a shot. And real quick, if you have any tactics for getting subscribers, make sure you leave them in the comments below for other people to see. Number one, as simple as this sounds, identify what people are looking for and make content around that. In order to do this, all you have to do is go to the search bar on YouTube, start typing in whatever topic it is that you may be interested in that you're making content around. See the specific phrases that people are searching for and make that content. Number two, I've mentioned this a bunch of times in a bunch of videos, but if you're new here, front load your calls to action to subscribe. Here's what I mean. When somebody's watching your video, most of the people are watching towards the front of your video. So it's important that you grab their attention there, let them know the type of content that you provide to them, the type of value they're gonna get, the type of benefit they're gonna get from watching your videos, and then ask them to subscribe. As an example, when I first started this video, I said, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. That is front loading the call to action. It's effective. And even though I've had plenty of people in the comments say, oh, well, you know, you this is at the beginning of the video. How do I know if I like your stuff or not? But my view to subscriber ratio tells a completely different story. So give it a shot. See if it works for you. Three, go into your analytics and look for the videos that are driving subscribers. They might not necessarily be the ones with the most views, but they're the ones that are converting viewers into subscribers. Find those videos and make more of those because those are what your audience are into. Number four, dedicate this year to collaborating with other YouTubers. Look, if you look at my channel, you'll see that I've collaborated with a ton of different people over the last 12 months, and it's been extremely effective. Think of it this way. In addition to creating a cool relationship with the person that you're collaborating with, you're also putting yourself all over channels, all over YouTube. And it doesn't matter if they're huge channels, if they're small channels, it doesn't matter. The idea is that you're putting yourself all over YouTube. Even though we all know that it's something that we should do, I would file this one under a power tip. And the reason for that is because it's extremely effective. And again, it doesn't have to be humongous channels. It can be channels with you know a small subscriber base. The idea is that you start becoming all over the place. And what happens then is people start saying, oh wow, I saw that person on this channel. Oh wow, I saw this person on this channel. Wow, everywhere I go, this person is there. Wow, they must be popular. I'm gonna click subscribe. But here's the thing. As a YouTuber, it doesn't matter if you're a big YouTuber, it doesn't matter if you're a small YouTuber, collaborations are extremely powerful because in addition to pulling traffic in from suggested videos, pulling traffic in from search, pulling traffic in from browse features and all of that, you're also pulling traffic in from a bunch of different channels all over YouTube. And unless somebody deletes something, videos don't go away. So as those other channels grow, as those videos get views, as things progress along, you're constantly feeding traffic into your channel from all of these other channels. So it, basically what you've created when you collaborate a lot is you've created an entirely different traffic source. Number five is blog outreach. Basically how blog outreach works is you send emails to a bunch of different blogs that are related to your niche and you ask them if you can do a guest post for them. You ask them if they would be interested in posting your video. You ask them if they'd be interested in working together in any capacity. Number six, add some type of benefit, AKA value to the people that are watching your videos. Here's the thing, all of us, we watch YouTube for selfish reasons. We want our entertainment, we want our inspiration, we want our education. We want, you know, whatever it is that we're trying to get out of watching other people's videos, it's, it's about us, right? So when you provide some type of value to the people that are watching your content, they're going to be more likely to subscribe because you're giving them something in return. 
It's always really important to remember if with every video that you make that this is a two-way street. You know, you're at your place making your content and there are the people that are gonna be watching your content on the other end. They have lives. And every time they watch one of your videos, they're taking time out of their life to do that. So make sure that you're adding some type of value for them to make it worth it. Number seven, if you watch my live streams every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern time, if you watch those live streams, you hear me talk about this a lot. Make sure that your artwork is crystal clear about the type of content that you make. That goes for your channel header and that also goes for your thumbnails. I always use the reference of hockey or football or something like that. Let's say that you're making hockey videos. All of your content is about hockey. Sometimes you're at the at the place where you play hockey, whatever you call that. Sometimes you're at the hockey rink making videos. Sometimes you are in your car making videos. Sometimes you're at your desk making videos or maybe in your living room making videos, but you're always talking about hockey. Always use hockey imagery in your thumbnails. Always use hockey imagery in your channel art. And the reason for that is you want people to be able to identify the type of content that you make. If, if one of your videos shows up in the suggested sidebar and it's you sitting at your desk, nobody that's interested in hockey is going to be interested in that thumbnail. But if you use something with some type of hockey imagery in it, then that makes that visual and mental connection that, hey, this video here is about hockey, so I'm, so I'm gonna click on it and see what it's about. Number eight. It's important that you niche down. Now, I know a lot of people, they just wanna make content and put it up and they you know, just do a bunch of variety type of content and that's cool, do your thing. But if you're serious about growing and getting a lot more subscribers this year, this is what you need to do. Every single video that you make needs to be about a particular topic or under an umbrella of a particular topic. So as an example, if you come to my channel, you know that every single video that you watch on my channel is going to help you in some way with your YouTube channel. Because of that, a lot of people binge watch my content. That creates more watch time, that creates more views, and that creates more channel authority, which ultimately creates more growth. When that notification email goes out that says, hey, Nick just uploaded a new video, you're more likely to click on that video because it's something that's going to help you with your YouTube channel, and you know that. However, if you got that notification email and the thumbnail and the title was about, hey, you know, this is the footage that I shot while I was at the park with my drone, then, you know, you're gonna be less likely to click on it. Because you and I both know that is not what you're here for. Number nine, identify who your competitors are and more importantly, identify who you want your competitors to be. And once you identify who it is that you wanna compete with, add more value than they are currently adding, use similar metadata to what it is that they are using. Don't copy everything, don't copy the descriptions or anything like that, but use similar metadata, similar titles, similar tags, similar things that you say in your description and things like that, so that you can try to squeeze in to those people that you're wanting to compete with. I have a bonus one coming up after this, but number 10 is to spend more time on your thumbnails. This is extremely important. Do not underestimate the power of a good thumbnail. Good thumbnails can make or break your channel. So it's important that you spend the time, even if it takes you longer to make your thumbnail than it does your video, spend the time to make sure that you're grab that you're making attention grabbing thumbnails. It's it's crucial, I cannot stress it enough. And of course, if you wanna get more subscribers, it's important that you learn how to get more views. I just recently made a video about this. You can check it out up here in the YouTube card. It's gonna teach you how to get more views in 2018 and beyond. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.